who do you see clinching, eventually going on to clinch uh, this leadership contest uh, when we get the results over the weekend? Well, this is absolutely uncertain. And if you look at the opinion poll data that was out over the past days, uh, general polling, but also polling of CDU members, uh, it is a, an extremely close race. And we shouldn't forget that uh, this vote is not cast by the members of the CDU, but by 1,001 delegates. And frankly, I don't think anyone knows at this point, and there may be a surprise, uh, there's likely to going to be a second round, but um, I think no one can tell you today who will win. So I've read some analyst commentary out there saying that if indeed Friedrich Merz is the one who ends up securing this leadership role, it could actually backfire in the sense that it will incentivize the left and the groups on the left uh, to be mobilized and show up in, in bigger force come the national elections later on this year. Do you agree with that view as well in that uh, Merz could actually end up being uh, a, a, perhaps the reason that CDU don't do as well as um, uh, polls would anticipate going into the national elections later this year? We'll have to see how uh, he, he would position himself as a candidate for the, the chancellery. Right now, he is running in the race for the party chairman, and he is the outsider in that race because the two others are holding political office and are very much on the media every day, Friedrich Merz. Uh, hasn't held political office for, for years, and he now has tried to really distinguish himself both from Chancellor Merkel and also from the two others. But once he is elected and he runs for the chancellery, he will possibly move a little more towards the center. Um, and if you compare, that's my area of speciality, if you compare his positions on foreign and European policy, for instance, with the other, other candidates. Uh, he is a declared transatlanticist. He has a lot of experience in that, having headed uh, the Atlantic Bridge, which is a high-level transatlantic organization for a decade. And on Europe, he is fiscally uh, quite conservative, and that could indeed uh, be a point that distinguishes him strongly uh, from uh, the political left in the race uh, for the chancellery. But on Europe, he is a convinced European, uh, although he's often characterized as the candidate more to the right of the spectrum. Uh, we couldn't hear any Euro EU critical tones from him. He actually has a quite forward-leaning idea how Europe can become more, more able to act in the future.